This morning I heard a great case. Did you know 80% of all men say they have dated a woman five years younger than they are? This is true of the man in my courtroom today. Only he didn't know about the age difference. And that lie brought this couple to divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. I have here today Isaiah Newcomen and Marvisa Reese. The two of you have been together for 12 years. You do not, however, want to be together anymore. Mr. Newcomb, I'm going to start with you. You say the entire relationship started off with a lie. Tell me what that lie was. Okay, the lie was she lied about her age when I first met her. <laughs> um, she was a whole lot younger than what she told me she was, and she always looked how she looks right here, like... Ever since I well, met how her. old did she tell you she was? She told me she was 17 years old. And how at old the was the time she? I was 19 years old. Uh-huh. She was 13 years old. Oh. Yeah. Now, Mrs. Reese, <laughs> why would you tell as a 13-year-old? Why oh would you God. tell a 19-year-old dude <laughs> that you were 17? What were you seeking to do at 13? You know, I was just young, and there's just something me and my friends did, you know, all the time. Really? We was fast, whatever. You it was fast, it. okay. Yeah. That's what <laughs> women, fast women, all right. Right. <laughs> hey, listen, she, you, 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 you call it like you see it. Yeah. <laughs> you oh say God. that even though you're older than her, that Ms. Reese treats you like one of her children. Oh, yeah. Explain my, that to me. Most definitely. I'm... I say I am one of her children in her eyes. Everything is hers, my, 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 my house, my lights, my water, my gas, my trash, my bedroom, my bed, my roof. Your eyes are mine. If I bought it, it's hers. Everything belongs to her. Oh, my God. Like, it, it doesn't matter what I do, it's hers. Ms. Reese, do you claim ownership to everything in your airspace? <laughs> Not you know everything. Yes, look at her face. She can't <laughs> back, face all up to the sky. Not Tell everything, but yeah, um, some like that. Well, does he, he work? Yeah. Does he make money? Yeah. Does he own anything? Sure. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, sure. What is your greatest complaint with Mr. Newcomb? My greatest plank complaint is that I feel he should help out more financially and physically in the household, or just period. So he's a cook, right? Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he get paid. Uh -huh. He get paid, but not quite enough for your liking. Yeah, he get paid regular, like, bi-weekly. Yeah, he get paid. He, get, he gets paid, but you think he ought to make more money? Um, not even that. He just need to spend more of it on... Um, me, I guess. <laughs> so you think he makes enough money, he just doesn't spend enough of it on you? And yeah, the household and all that. The household. What kind of things that do you need him to contribute to that you that he's failed to do? Everything, like rent, bills, tissue, soap, everything. Anything that can be contributed to, he needs to, yeah. Do help. you pay all of, most of the bills? Yeah. Is that true? Yes, it's true, but I have an explanation for that. Well, give it to me. At, at one point in time, I did help her out with everything, see? We split the bills down the middle, but like I, like I was saying to you, everything is hers, and I felt like I can't do anything. If I come home from work and try to unwind, well, like, I'm doing something wrong. Well, who pays the light bill? I'm not quite sure what's going on at your she house. Does. Who pays the light she bill? She does. Who pays the cable bill? She does. Who pays uh, for uh, maybe the car note? I pay we, my own. We yeah, don't got no yeah. cars. We you, got separate cars. You don't yeah. have you have separate cars? Yeah, we have separate Why cars. Why don't you contribute more to the home? I don't understand. Because at one point I was doing it and it wasn't appreciated. So I actually So you just I, stopped? I, I moved. Right. I moved. <laughs> I didn't just stop. I moved. He moved. I moved. <laughs> you moved out. Yeah, because it was making me uncomfortable <laughs> living there. Do you live there now? No. Oh, so you move elsewhere? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that he could, should continue paying bills at your house now that he has moved to somewhere else? You know what? Yeah, because it ain't even like he moved nowhere else. He's still there. He's still... He, this how he she do. she wants me to be. No, this how he do. He'll move and then come back two days later but be like, oh, I don't live here. 
I don't live here, so I don't gotta do that. I don't live here. You know, like he do he play it like that. So, so. he hangs around in the house, yeah. but every time you ask him to contribute, you say, Well, I don't need to because I don't live here. Yeah, I live that's how he does it. Like he don't live he here. You live it. here. You live what here. What did she do to get you back in the house? Other than just the... be more appreciative of, of what I do. When I do do things for her, when I am there for her, if I take her out, if I do something, she just kind of be like, that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to. But at the same time, me as a man, my job is to tell her she's pretty every day. My job is to tell her I love her, make her feel good about herself. And as a man, she doesn't make me feel good about myself as a man. She make me feel like gum on the bottom of her shoe. You now, know? Ms. Mrs. Reese, now, I'm looking at you over there. And I'm getting a little queasy. <laughs> oh my Cause you're looking God. up in the sky, you grinning. <laughs> you know, you look like you know maybe you're here, maybe you're not. Oh my gosh. My question to you is: Do you have any inkling of what this man is talking about yeah. when he says he doesn't feel like a man in his own home when he shared it with you? Yeah, I know he's talking about, but no, that can be, that's far from the truth. He don't, he don't feel like that. Cause if he did, he wouldn't keep, <laughs> he wouldn't keep coming back. Like, you don't like feel I like said, that. Like he I said, not, I'm a kid. He's not she as uncomfortable me. as he think he is. Like, as he he's not to... as uncomfortable <laughs> as he thinks he is. He not as uncomfortable <laughs> as he trying to make it seem like. He not that uncomfortable. He he good. Mrs. He... Reese, you making me uncomfortable. I just <laughs> He good. He ain't he ain't uncomfortable. So folks would just come up to your door. Yep. Ding dong. I'd like some M&Ms and a condom. I got it. Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Now, now, Ms. Reese, you say that Mr. Newcomb is lazy. Why don't you tell me some of the things that you believe he should be doing that, that he doesn't do? Well, he, I say he lazy because, like, Basically, he don't clean nothing. He don't. He just like to, you know, sit down and watch TV. Like wherever, if he ate something, he gonna leave it right there. You know, if he take off his shoes, he gonna leave it right there. He and it's gonna stay there until I come pick it up. Or now, Mr. Newcomb, is that true? It's partially true, I admit, you know. Now, as a guest in I her do. home, which you claim you are, <laughs> right. yes. how is it you could it's leave so your stuff around the house like that and yeah. feel okay with it? Um, because for one, I did stay there at one point, so it does really feel like I'm still there, but I admit, I admit, so I So your mess is grandfathered in, even though you don't live <laughs> yeah. there anymore, right. you can still I, make a mess there. I guess, I guess you could say that. I mean, I'm not, but I don't just intentionally do it, it's just sometime I'll come home from work and I'll be tired and, you know, where it comes off, it stays. Okay. You know, I'm just being Let honest. Let me ask you this, Ms. Reese, now, you say he's lazy, you say he doesn't spend enough money on the, on the things around the house, which he doesn't because he just stopped paying. Yeah. He went over to his, you know, relative's house. So let me ask you this. He did try to be enterprising at one point and started a candy house. Why don't you tell me about the candy house and why, why it wasn't a successful enterprise? I mean, it wasn't so much that it wasn't successful, but I just... You know, it was like kind of ghetto to me. Like, now, was, <laughs> someone, like, had, do you know about the candy house? I didn't know either, so I asked somebody. <laughs> so, so, so you tell me what a candy house is. I mean, you sell candy and food and whatever else, but it's like I just didn't appreciate, you know, like the business hours. It never stopped. It it was just too much, and I just felt like now, that's Mr. not. Newcomb you have to explain this to me, because it took a couple people to convince me that this was actually a thing. Oh, my God. Okay. We live, we live in Vegas, and it's, like, extremely hot. Yes. Where, yeah, everybody knows it's hot in Vegas. Now, where we stayed, it was so far from the store. So I just came up with an idea, like, well, maybe I should be the store. You know, make it convenient for people to come here instead of having to go all the way to the store. Now, like she said, I was open all hours of the night because I don't neglect any money. If it comes, I'm gonna get up and get it. But we got her, kids. Her, her main problem was I didn't give enough attention to her. But she had no issue with it 
when she was spending the money. No. When she wanted this or no. wanted that, oh, it wasn't a problem then. So yeah, it folks was. would just come up to your door. Yep. Ding dong. <laughs> I'd like yeah. some M and M's and a condom, and you would you would be able right. to supply them with their general merchandising needs. I got it. Mind if you, we got kids got in the house. Yeah, that is a little ghetto. I gotta yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was looking to provide. I didn't have employment, so... Uh, yeah, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. You say that when you do do things that you don't get credit for them. Can yeah. you Can you tell me some of the things that you do do that she doesn't give you credit for? I contribute to things that my children need, like if they need clothes, shoes, or something to that point. Or, like, say, for instance, if I just say, come on, babe, let's go out to eat this morning. If, if the shoe was on the other foot, she would tell me I owe her back if she takes me out to eat. I don't care if it's the Jack in the Box for a $5 meal. Oh, I want my $5 back when you get paid. But I can take her to Denny's, to anywhere, and it's just, that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, do, do, no, do, that's not Do you fair. make them pay you back if you take them out to fast food? I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because mm -hmm. I pay the bulk of the bill, so I don't have money like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do. I could if I wanted to, mm -hmm. but I don't want to. That's right. your trip. That's your idea. That's what you doing. So, <laughs> yeah, I need all my money Ms. back. Ms. I Reese, so serious. what do you do for a living? I do security. You work security? Yeah. What do you keep secure? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, just like, uh, I guess, merchandise. Merchandise. All right, all right. We, we got the merchandise and we got security. All right. <laughs> what is the most ridiculous thing she got angry about? It's like she's the president. Move out of my way. Move, move. You see me coming through? Oh, my God, people cannot drive. <laughs> I can't take this. This is getting on my nerves. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Newcomb, you say that Ms. Reese is in need of anger management. Why don't you tell me why you believe that? Okay, uh, I think this will be easy. She wakes up mad. She goes to sleep mad. I mean, she'll literally wake up like, Oh, uh, my God. What is this? That's, that, <laughs> there it is right there. Oh, my God. What are y'all doing? Y'all y'all running around making noise. Look at this. Look at, oh, my God. Go to bed, sleep. Everything's just, she's just all, I told her she's a walking attitude. She's like, a walking attitude robot, just always mad. Oh, like, why are you, what are you so mad at? What is, what happened what, to you in your is, sleep? What is the most ridiculous thing she got angry about? In the car, driving. Oh my God, everybody, it's like she's the president. Move out of my way. Move, move. You see me coming through? Oh my God, people cannot drive. I can't take this, this is getting on my nerves. And I'll be sitting next to her like, you realize I'm the only person who hears you, right? Oh my like, God. stick your head out the window if you want him to hear what you're saying. Uh, you know, let him know I'm talking to you. Like, it is... Do you get enraged in your sleep so you wake up angry? I don't get enraged, but, uh, yeah, I don't uh, like being woken up. Like, so waking up, the process of waking up itself no, angers you. Somebody waking me up when I ain't woke yet. Now, if I'm woke, <laughs> <laughs> no, if I'm woke, it, then cool. If I'm just laying in the bed, whatever, all right, good, it's, I'm up. But if I'm still asleep, I'm still dreaming, don't wake me up out of my sleep because mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'll get cranky when I have a lack of sleep that anybody should. So does he, does he do that frequently? Does he, he wake and you yes, up? Yes, it's either him or the kids, yeah. They, well, they now always the wake kids, me up. I mean, it's what kids you know do. What? It's Still, always the kids. Yeah, they, daddy could be sitting up doing whatever. I could be asleep. They gonna walk past him and wake me up. Like, yeah. Seriously? But he, he in there, why you ain't keeping them? You know I'm asleep, so why you can't keep them do? from, you know, handle what they need done? Like, Look, I don't like being woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, so don't wake me up. Let me ask you this, Miss Reese. You say that your husband doesn't uh, shower you with the kind of gifts you believe you ought to receive. Can you explain to me what you think you deserve and how he's come up short in that department? 
I mean, like, okay, we didn't been through some stuff, some infidelities, whatever, so he's supposed to be making up. So I feel like he needs to go over and beyond a little bit, you know, to make up. And at first, it was, it was good. Like, he was, you know, he was doing little things to make up. Now he back in, back comfortable. It's just like, I don't have to do that no more, you know, like. Uh, is he almost act like I owe him something. What, like, did he buy you that ring there? That's a pretty ring. Nah, no. You didn't buy that? You, no. you, you bought that? Yeah. Were you buying her jewelry to make up for the fact that you were tipping out on her? Um, I bought her a couple items and, um... Were you tipping? You can ask her now. No, I bought they? it before that. No, I bought it, I bought it before the situation. Um, I actually... Is the know. situation resolved? Uh, yes. Kind of, yes. but not it's, really. Oh, it's no, resolved. I, I'm, not, no. I'm, not, I'm not being... It's I'm resolved not, in I don't his cheat head, at all. not in my head. I don't cheat at all. I don't do anything at all. The situation was actually three years ago. Uh -huh. She Two. just still holds it against me at this point right now. Mm -hmm. Like, she... she it was a lot, like you said, it was, like she said, it was a lot of things that I was doing mm -hmm. to resolve the situation. But like I said, she showed no appreciation for it. She showed, she acted as if it wasn't working. He so I stopped. He it for two weeks. And then he got a <laughs> yeah. job. And then he like, oh, okay. He back comfortable again. You only no. did it for two weeks. Like, I that's got not, it. he act like it was all good. No. I got you. I got you. In divorce court, people tell me the most intimate details of their lives. Join the conversation and share your experience on our Twitter page at Divorce Court and on our Facebook page. See how fans deal with their own relationships. The discussion can get heated. Don't miss it. What do you want from me or him? Um, basically to tell him he wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give us both some advice. And then, now, yeah. what do you want me to tell him he's wrong about? About everything that I feel. Seriously, though. Seriously, though. Mr. Newcomb. Yes. If you were to make a, a, a rational statement to me about what you wanted from me, what would it be? To bring her up to speed with reality. <laughs> because she's kind of living in a world of her own. She believes that things should go her way or you can take the highway. And you, I'm a man, I shouldn't have feelings, I shouldn't have a heart. I shouldn't be sad about anything. If I'm being sad, you're being dramatic. I mean, I could go into a full-blown cry and she'd be like, look at you being dramatic. You're just being dramatic. <laughs> like, wow, you don't care? I understand that you want me to bring you, her into the realm of reality, and I'm good at what I do, but I'm not that good. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, she's in her own world over no, there, and you've got to decide whether you want to live in it or not. You know what I mean? You've got to decide. Do that with, with, with the thoughts of children in your, in your mind. I think you're a good dude. I think, I think you're odd. But oh, you're a nice lady. God. No. Oh, you put you... You're a little odd. Come on now. No, Come I'm not. on. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you are. No, I'm no, not. no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you are. It's, ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. It works oh, for you. Oh, my God. But let me say this, Miss Reese. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't let him in no more if he won't pay any bills. Oh, my God. You, you know what I'm saying? That's my 10 cents worth. You can't complain about a guy not contributing if you keep letting him in the door and doing as he pleases. Nobody would be dropping no drawers nowhere near where I lived if they weren't helping me pay bills. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't complain about a, a problem that you contribute to. You with me? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Show up. Your yeah. kids need you. I have they no love problem you. with it. I have no I problem never, with you, helping. We don't know what's going to happen with her. Yeah. On any given day. Do the right thing, you do the right thing. This matter is adjourned. Oh, my God, she just sent me. Thank you so much. The point I was trying to make to Marvissa is this. Nobody can roll through your house, take advantage of what's going on in there, and pay no bills if you don't let them in. <laughs>